My first visit to Marrakesh, Morocco was filled with delights. Exploring the winding and bustling streets of the Medina, I was in awe of the artisans creating in the same way their forebears have for hundreds of years. Everyday experiences here feel more exotic. Blues and yellows are more vibrant, a bath more energizing, a walk is a suspension in time. We were so honored that while I was in Marrakesh, Marianne Lou Martin opened her doors to quintessence. Marianne's home and her adjacent boutique, the Shanan Tomsna, luxuriates across 10 acres in the northern end of the Red City. It's a wonderfully quiet refuge that's equally alive with this former lawyer, interior designer, and now consummate hotelier's personal collections from her travels around the world. I came to Marrakesh in 1985 um, with the mission to scout and look for a piece of land where I would design a house for my parents to have a holiday house because the, the idea was not to be further than three hours flight from Paris, where we are from. And I was then a lawyer in Paris and I had no idea that my life would turn me into an hotelier one day. And little by little, Marrakesh started taking more and more fabulously exciting space in my life. And uh, we ended up moving here permanently in 96 with my husband and children. Then in 2000, I bought this land where we are now. And in 2001, I built what is our little hotel. So we are on 10 acres. And um, my husband, who's a remarkable um, botanist and anthropologist, is very, very concerned about the environment. So his garden is using all sorts of techniques to minimize the use of water, to optimize each drop and each organic nutrient. And um, I did the architecture. I'm a self-taught um, architect and uh, interior designer. So I built and he plants. And um, the hotel has is going to now have 30 keys. Uh, we're expanding and um, there's um, five pools, a tennis court. Uh, we grow our own food. Our guests are mostly English and American. And um, it often feels here like a big house party because the way the architecture is displayed people have feel that they're in a private home. You know, we have a private home separately on site. I guess that my design philosophy is really a reflection of who I am. I have traveled the world very young and, and also alone because I loved traveling alone, discovering things at my own pace. And I'm very influenced by my life, by the people I met, the extraordinary uh, homes I visited, the um, crafts of the country I love, like um, India, Turkey, Mexico. And uh, I would say that uh, my design philosophy is just be yourself, be daring, be confident. It doesn't matter, you know, if, if people don't like it. I, um, I would say that the most important thing for me in a room is to have books and to have art and to have rugs and to have interesting textiles. And West Africa, I'm passionate about the weaving um, from Senegal in particular. And then the rest comes. Everything which just has a function, or like seating, for example, or lighting is very important. But it, I think that when people come to uh, places I have done, they always feel that there are layers and layers and layers of life and of adventures and each object has a story. But I also designed this like this in one week because on the way before finishing a place, I have been buying this there, buying this there, customizing thing. I think that customization is a key thing. Maybe it's because I'm a mix of so many diverse origins that I can't help do things differently. And um, I think that all of this reflects in the spaces we create because very often people say, 
and as I said before, our guests are English or American in general, very often they say, if I had had a house in Marrakesh, it would be very much inspired by that. So I was totally thrilled that Rizzoli uh, Books signed me for my first book. And my book is called Inside Marrakesh, Enchanting Homes and Gardens. And it is a tribute that the foreigners do to Marrakesh because all the houses belong to foreigners except one which belongs to a very cosmopolitan Moroccan. So the, the idea was to show that the Marrakesh style is so inspiring. You can mix your own cultural heritage and have it influenced by the Marrakesh uh, style. And um, this is the story of the book. It's like a path behind the mysterious doors of this um, magical city I'm blessed to, to call home. Don't miss another video visit. Click on the orange cue to subscribe and have Quintessence virtually delivered from our doorstep to yours. Mm -hmm.